Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. In a Young's double slit experiment, the distance between the fringes is too small to be observed. The distance between the fringes is too small. So if we are talking about the fringe spacing, so fringe spacing is uh, lambda capital D divided by small d. So this is really very small, they say. And Young's double slit experiment, so my dear students, those who are not aware of what is Young's double slit experiment, this is um, the interference experiment with two slits. That's it. And um, that is already given in the books and you have also studied it. So it's nothing new. It, you have already done it. Like the interference pattern due to two parallel rectangular slits. That is called Young's double slit experiment. It is also written as YDSE also sometimes. So what change would increase the distance between the fringes? So you want this to increase. Definitely either the D will decrease, wavelength can increase, or the capital D can increase. Let us see. Increase the frequency of the light. Frequency of the lights. Okay. So all of the lights will be moving at the same speed. That is because all of them are electromagnetic waves. So C is equal to lambda into F. So if you want this lambda to increase, you have to decrease the frequency because they are inversely proportional. So frequency should be decreased. And so A is wrong. Increasing the distance between the slits. Increasing the distance between the slits is going to decrease the spacing. So even this is wrong. Increasing the distance from slit and decrease. Yeah, if you are increasing capital D, definitely S is increasing. So C is correct. Increasing the distance between the light source and the slits. Well, this doesn't make any sense because we are not talking about the distances before the slit. We are only concerned with the distances after the slits up to the screen. So that is the only thing that we are concerned with, not the previous one. So even D is wrong. So clearly the answer should be C. And yes, the answer is C. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.